Hey everybody. Uh, today I'm going to talk about goal game and why it's something that is useful for anyone and uh, and everyone that is wanting to prepare themselves for competitions that are probably going to be coming back up again uh, later next year. And uh, so this is a really sort of good game to be able to ensure that you are able to practice with a certain level of intensity. Uh, I know a lot of archers out there right now are shooting either at home, uh, either blank bail, or maybe they can get um, you know their full competition distance of 60 meters, 70 meters, uh, or even just 18 meters. Um, so one thing that actually really helps with this is doing what I call gold game. Um, and it's not something that I came up with. It's actually something that was uh, developed by Kissick Lee at the uh, Olympic Training Center in the United States. And uh, I worked as a coach for his junior development program for uh, many years. And this is one thing that helped ensure that the juniors as well as the seniors are uh, able to improve their game and, and focus uh, to prepare for tournaments. So there's three different versions of goal game. There is the uh, nine goal game, 9.5, and the 10 goal game. The nine goal game is what most people will do. Essentially, the 10 nine ring is worth one point, eight ring is zero points, and anything lower than a seven is negative one. Um, and then there's sort of different variations of that, such as the 9.5 and the 10. There's certain parameters that are defined at first, such as, uh, especially for scoring with other people on the same field, having a scoreboard or sometimes a flip board down at the target to display how many points you're getting per M. Uh, this is helpful to kind of help push each other along. Um, another aspect is that you only have 15 seconds to shoot your arrow. Um, and I say arrow already loaded in bow, meaning that the buzzer doesn't go off. Now you have 15 seconds to pull the arrow out of your quiver into your bow. Rather, the bow already has an arrow on it, and that's when the buzzer goes for you to be able to go up and, and shoot your shot. And also, uh, if you don't get your shot off in that 15 seconds, it's minus two points. So you may have shot like two tens, gotten two points, great, but that third shot, you don't get off in 15 seconds, that's minus two, and therefore you didn't get any points. You just lost those two points because you didn't get that third shot off. So it helps you really push you, and it's meant to kind of make archers a little uncomfortable to help them um, keep that mental fortitude and keep you committed to the shot. 15 seconds is plenty of time to be able to get a shot done, especially if you got the arrow already loaded on the bow. Plenty of time to be able to get out, pull back, shoot, whether it's 18 meters, 60 meters, 50 meters, compound or recurve. Um, as I said, one of the other things is that you wanna have these arrows shot at distance. Um, they can be 18 meters all the way out to 70 or even 90 if you'd like. And it's also great to do with other archers, either virtually or in person. So, um, you know, in person is probably more effective, but if you're able, if you're not able to do that, uh, then being able to have other archers you can do, you know, through video chat or, or being able to share, send photos of each other's targets and so forth. Um, so how does this look in terms of like the point accumulation? So if we take a score of, uh, let's say in this case, seven arrows, and for, for demonstration purposes, I, I chose seven arrows as opposed to a usual six arrow format. It could be eight, it could be nine, however many arrows you're shooting per end. I always think it's good to practice more arrows per end than you actually need in competition, uh, just to help with your own stamina and so forth. So in this case, we shot two tens, three nines and eight and a seven. If you're doing regular goal game, that means basically you've got four points. Uh, 9.5 goal game, you would, have, uh, you would have one, two, three, four, five points, but minus two points because you shot an eight and a seven. And then 10 goal game, uh, only the tens count. You don't lose any points for shooting nines, but if you shoot anything outside of a nine, uh, that is minus one point. So you can see how it progressively gets tougher. Another way of looking at this is that it, it's a means of, you, you know, you wouldn't want to have archers shoot 10 goal game right off the bat. Get archers to be able to shoot a nine goal game. And if you are able to shoot an 8.7 average, that's roughly 626, um, which is pretty good. And then as you progressively go up, 
I should also mention that uh, the goal is to 50 points. That's another aspect, is that you shoot this and it could take 50 arrows, it could take 150 arrows. So I would say, how do you know when you should progress from nine goal game to 9.5 goal game? If you're able to shoot nine goal game uh, with, and get to 50 points within, let's say 50 arrows, I would say it's probably time to go to 9.5 goal game. Same with 10 gold game. So 50 points is the goal. It, and I would say it's not so much a competition in terms of like you stop competing with other people. Let's say uh, you're not going to co stop competing with other people because you get to 50 first. Everybody should get to 50 and everyone should know how many arrows it takes from to get to 50. So let's say the first time you do this, it takes you 100 arrows. Well, next time you do it, maybe it takes 80 arrows to get to 50 points. Right. So you want to you want to make sure that the amount of arrows it takes to be able to get to 50 points gets lower and lower and lower. Right. On average. And then eventually I can do 50 points and 50 arrows. No big deal. Great. Now it's time to go to the next level of 9.5 goal game. And then when it only takes 50 arrows to do that, then go to 10 goal game. I should, you know, preface all of this is that most archers are not going to shoot 9.5 goal game or 10 goal game. Uh, most searches are going to go to nine gold game, and, and this next slide um, is why. Because the nine gold game um, really will help boost your game if you're trying, if you're shooting about 600 and you're trying to make sure you can, you know, shoot a little bit above that, uh, that will help you kind of ensure that you can get to that, uh, get to that level. So each end, you know, you might get three points and you're trying to get to 50 points. That's going to take a little while. Um, let's say, what is a three points? So you can see from this view, each one, you get three points for the different game. So a nine goal game, three points, a 9.5 goal game, there's three points, and then 10 goal game, three points that you get per end. What you'll notice is that even though they're only getting three points per end, the arrow average is going up much, uh, going up significantly. And if that arrow average of a nine versus a 9.4, those that's a completely different ballpark we're talking about in levels of archers that are shooting 620s to 670s. So if you're a compound shooter and you shoot about a 650, let's say at your distance, you wanna be able to get up to that 670, 680, start with 9.5 gold game, get it down to 50 arrows, then go to 10 gold game. So as I said, this is useful for recurve and for compound archers as well. Um, the other aspect that I was going to show as far as 15 seconds to shoot your arrow, um, if you're, let's say, you know, you don't have a lot of arches around you, you're being able to do this by yourself. This is usually facilitated with like an AB line. So if archer A has 15 seconds to shoot, archer B is waiting for that archer A to finish their end of, or finish their, their arrow of 15 seconds. So you have 15 seconds to shoot one arrow and what will help uh, facilitate this is a little app um, that you can use that I find quite useful and it is called interval timer I'm just going to pull it up here on my phone and um, here we go let me just uh, share my screen here okay so here it is it's called interval timer timer right here on the top right and what I have here is 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. I usually have a 10 second warm up. This is helpful to kind of just get online, get your finger sling on, get your arrow on and so forth. And then once you start it, it'll beep or vibrate, whatever have you have it set to, it'll count down. Okay, you should have the arrow on by this point and then three, two, one, and go. That means you are pulling, picking up your bow, going up, shooting your arrow, Okay, great. Typically, um, a good shot, you'll have about two or three seconds left. And then, right, now it's the next person to shoot. So if you're only shooting by yourself, uh, this second time is when you would be resting and loading your next arrow. You're waiting, okay? This other person's shooting, all right, three, two, one. Now it's time for you to go up and be able to shoot. So you can see how you can use interval timer to keep yourself on pace not think too much about what, where it went, what, you know, 
and, and, and all sorts of other things that could distract you, but forcing you to stay focused. So, and I have this set so that it goes uh, for uh, several ends. And um, you can discard that. The good thing about interval timer is that you can customize it quite a bit. There's a free version as well as a uh, paid version. I have the paid version here because I, I use it so much. Um, as I said, you have 15 seconds here or 15 seconds, you know, high, low. So if you're doing this with another person at your range, let's say you are the kind of, you're, in, you're, you're there, you shoot on the green, they shoot on the red. Essentially, you shoot on like the low 15 second, they shoot on the high 15 seconds. So both the same amount of time. Nine sets, that indicates how many arrows you're shooting per end. Um, so this, this is really helpful in being able to ensure that you can uh, do that interval timer, timer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen just one last time. And the good thing, as I said, about this is that it helps get you um, focused really very much on your shot and your process on um, ensuring that you're shooting consistently, same amount of time, and that you're really focused on, on being able to execute your shot and not trying to be, you know, overthink it too much. Uh, hopefully you guys find this helpful and talk to you next time.